over a hundred artists, nearly 500 works. And the main material is paper. This research-based exhibition, titled quite aptly Paper, chronicles the developments in Turkish contemporary art through a selection of works from the 1960s to the present. Paper aims to see the various ways of production this material allows. The works here are not on display chronologically. In each section, we wanted the works to relate to each other, to create a dialogue, and to reveal the commonalities between the artists from different time periods. From figurative to abstract, from traditional to new media art. With its diverse scope, the exhibition brings together the works on paper, both by young as well as more experienced artists. For instance, take these two works, one of which is by an established artist, Bilge Alkor, and the other from a relatively new artist, Halil Vurujoğlu. We can study these works together because they have a similar mood and what I like to call a unity in soul, despite being years apart. The exhibition is also a comprehensive study on paper as a medium, bringing out the themes artists were heavily drawn to in the last 50 years, like ecological concerns, social issues and urbanization. Today, digital screens are stealing the thunder of paper, just like paper once stole it from parchment. And even though the prestige of the canvas still persists, more and more artists are turning to paper as a medium for different reasons. For example, because of the material's unique artistic value. Seeing artwork on paper means that you are now in an artist's studio. Paper is a very personal material so it allows for a much more independent and vulnerable way of expression, through which we can discover the inner world of an artist. And artists now see paper not as an incomplete means to their final product, but as an end in itself. Some of them even use only paper now. Perhaps all because of that raw and authentic feeling and the many possibilities this ancient invention still has to offer. Sena Arslan, TRT World, Istanbul.